In this video we're going to introduce the Legendre Transform. Now we're going to do it graphically first of all in order to give us some intuition. So let's say for example we start off with this function f of x equals x squared. Now whenever we Legendre Transform this function we're going to get this function here in green. Now the interesting thing about the Legendre Transform is that the forward transform and the inverse transform are just the same. Now if we compare that to, for example, the Fourier transform, and the Fourier transform, the forward transform, and the inverse transform are slightly different. We have to take care of an extra factor of 2 pi. So the question is, how are these two functions related? Well, let's have a look at that. I have a little slider here, so I'll slide in a few extra points here. Now this red line that you see here, this is given as the gradient of this y equals x squared. So for example, at that point 1, it's telling us that the gradient of the function y equals x squared is a value of 2. And that's correct. If we differentiate y equals x squared, we get 2x. We put the value of 1 in, we get 1 times 2 will give us the gradient of 2. So this is just the tangent line to this curve and it shows us the gradient here. So I'll just slide that round a bit and you can see we've got that gradient. Now you can see also as well I've put in an intercept point. So that's intercept point at the bottom here. So for example this curve, this line here, it's going to be uh, are given by the equation of a straight line, which is y equals mx plus c. So it would just be 1.2x and the c would be minus 0.36. So the equation of this straight line here is y equals 1.2x minus 0.36. Now we could move this along and again we can get a different point. So we take another random point. So if there's a point there. So the gradient at that point is 1. So the equation of this line here is y equals x minus 0.25. So we're able to work out the equation of each of the tangent points, tangent lines to this curve here, simply by knowing the gradient and knowing the y-intercept. So there's nothing new in that. That should be really just be revision of uh, basic uh, mathematics of straight lines. So here's the key point in the connection between our function here, y equals x squared, and our Legendre transform in green. Now I've put the points here for this curve, and you can see here that at this point here, in the y equals x squared, we've got a gradient of 1, and we've also got the crossover point as minus 0.25. So I've actually gone along here and I've found that point. So we've mapped that point here. So in this case here, we go along 1. So the x component of this function here is going to be the gradient of this line. And the y component is going to be this distance here. Now you'll note here the y component is actually in as a positive 0 0.25 and the actual distance here is minus 0.25. Now we don't need to bother about that for the moment. We'll explain that just in a little while. So it means that the in order to generate this new curve, which is the Legendre transform of the old curve, all we have to do, if we take another example of a point, say here, all we have to do is find the gradient of the point. The gradient becomes the x value of our new Legendre transformed curve and the y value is the height or the y intercept of this tangent line. So you can see here in this instance we've got this point 1.2 and it's 0.36. So if I just shift it along you can see all the different values here. In this case here We've got 0.6, that's the 0.6, which is the gradient, and we've got the y-intercept. The y-intercept is 0.09. Now, 
So this gives us a simple little graphical method of comparing the original function to the function that has been gone through the Legendre transform. So it means that this new function here in green contains all the information that we require in order to recreate the original function in black. Now let's have a little look and we can see how that is the case that we can regenerate this function y equals x squared from this other function here which is the Legendre transform. So before we continue, I suggest that you go into the resources section and you can open up a file there called Legendre Transform A and you can play about with this little simulation. So now you can go ahead and open up the other file called Legendre Transform B. You'll notice that we've got an extra couple of options here on the left hand side. So to get a better understanding of how this new curve here contains all of the information we need in order to regenerate the original curve here. Let's put in a whole load of these different tangent points and we can see how the envelope of all of these tangent points is going to build up this original function. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of the original function. So that's the original function going and we'll add in lots of different tangent points to that function. So we could add a few in here, so that's in the right hand side and also in the left hand side. So you can see here that the envelope of all of these tangents is going to be able to regenerate our original function which is y is equal to x squared. And of course the more and more of these tangents we add, uh, the more precise the approximation is to our original function. But of course what we notice here is that the actual Legendre transform here is a continuous function. So it's got an infinite number of these gradients and also the y-intercept. So this function here in effect contains all the information we need in order to generate an infinite number of these lines and let's put in a few more of them and we'll see our function appearing. So we can adjust this value here and we'll make it 0.2 and you can see we've got more tangent lines here and again we can adjust it down to 0.15. So you can see that our y equals x squared curve is starting to appear and if we put the original curve in and that's it here and it's in black. So that gives a good graphical indication of what we're doing whenever we are generating a Legendre transform. And the secret is really in just this little diagram here where we can adjust the position of each point on the original curve, we take a note of the gradient. The gradient becomes our new x-axis and the intercept here becomes our y-value. So let's move on and in our next video we'll take what we've learned here intuitively and we'll work out how to generate this new function in green mathematically. Thank you for listening. I'll get you on the next video. Goodbye.